Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Season 8, Episode 15. And I'm starting to get a little bit ahead on my episodes here as far as when I put them on YouTube. So that could be a little bit of a problem if they decide to come out with a new update that's going to make me restart my world. But, eh, I believe in living dangerously. So we're down here in a little hidey hole and it's 7 a.m. And I've just been doing a little bit of mining, a little bit of inventory management. And today is just going to be us building. We're going to re repair the building. Uh, we're going to see if there's any extra damage to it. And uh, I didn't hear any shenanigans up there during the night, but I did get some lag, which means we believe that a uh, roaming horde might have come through. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see how it goes. And, uh, you know, see if there's any damage. And we are just going to spend the day repairing. So, and uh, building bases and stuff. I'm going to have to actually do another loot run fairly soon. Um, <laughs> I didn't get enough iron, you know? Like, look at this. I've cooked all my iron. This is all the iron I have. This is it. Now, I've got, some, I've got a bunch of rebar frames, which is really nice. And I do have some forged iron. That's not a lot of forged iron, believe it or not, for what I'm planning to do. So, I don't have a lot of iron. Uh, there's going to be 150% loot abundance. I'm not going to get into it again. But I'm just saying that um, we're going to have to go on another loot run. We need a lot more loot runs. I'm not going near Dyersville. Uh, it's not going to be this vid video either. But I'm thinking I might hit Husgrav and possibly Coronado in a future video. Uh, probably a pretty recent future. Uh, and, you know, coming up future video. Maybe I'll bring Fat Planet in on it. We'll see. We shall see. So it's now 7.30, so let's go on upstairs and see what's, you know, see what's going on. See how we did without any spikes up there. Man, I almost lost it in my last game where, they were, where I thought you could pick up this, all the spike traps and stuff, man. Oh, my goodness. Woo! That was some, that was a hardcore mental breakdown. I was about to, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we got up here. We will attempt to be quiet. And it doesn't look like our house is any worse off than it was before. So, let's take a look around the whole thing. No, it looks relatively untouched. It really takes down the, uh, you know, the idea that the spike traps are useful because they're just, the spike traps are just getting the zombies to attack my house more. Like... They're almost a, like, bad thing. If you could stay hidden, you, you don't need them. Although, I, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. It's a it's a learning process. Let's go ahead and... First thing we're going to do is break out these stairs. I actually have a cool idea for this doorway. Uh, which I would probably do on the other side as well. Now, that guy's yellow. Oh, that's a bee. Okay. That's a, how did that yellow see me? Like, from the lake. Does it look on the mini-map. There's, like, a yellow guy at the lake. And why is he strafing like that? Well, because he's a bee. So, alright, well, maybe we should just make this whole thing. Nah, nah, it's fine. What's up, man? We definitely should not have come out here with as much stuff as we do on us, but with the, with the, the stuff that the, uh, I'm thinking about the, um, the airdrops, but with the stuff the airdrops have been dropping, it's been pretty crappy loot, so I'm not really worried about, like, an airdrop dropping too much good stuff, because it kind yeah. of all sucks. So... All right, we're gonna do this. Now I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. I'm kind of winging it, but uh, you know, we'll see what we can do here. This is definitely going to be like this. Maybe, maybe, yeah, that might work. Let's give that a try. I don't know how well this is gonna work. But it's probably worth a try. I'm kind of thinking out loud. Thinking. Hold on one second. Alright, so this can be... Go like this. Make sure we don't cover anything up. We have to upgrade. We're not. This can probably come down. Let's get our trusty axe. Now, this is, the, this is the part of Seven Days to Die that I relish. The building. I love this. This is what I live for with this game. You know, and I just don't, I don't get to do enough in it. <laughs> Oh, God, you're killing me, game. Killing me. Why is the, like, walls not made out of this stuff, but the, the roof is? It's kind of weird. 
we are gonna have to go hunting for yellow flowers as well. Um, maybe we'll go uh, we'll go hunting for rocks and yellow flowers in an upcoming video. We'll see. We could probably do that in like a half a day. That doesn't even have to be a full day of looting. Okay. That's good. So let's do this. 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 And this. Okay. So what we'll do here is, let's go ahead and make a bunch of doors. Uh, secure wooden door. Let's make four for now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one right here. One right here. You know, let's upgrade this stuff first because we might not be able to get to it. Upgrade all the way. Yeah, yeah, this will work. This will be cool. Well, I don't know how effective it'll be, but I'm hoping the zombies AI tells them to go for doors. If it does, this is going to be a relatively nice thing. Uh, but if it tells it to go for the path of least resistance, this is going to be a waste. But who cares? We're going to find out. This is this is not so much about building. Why isn't that going there? Hmm. Does this have to be upgraded? Punk ass. That's what you get. Okay, so I think this might have to be upgraded for me to put a door down, so let's try that. Oh, we don't have any scrap iron on us. Damn. Hopefully we have some in here. I don't want to have to go all the way downstairs for this. Uh, of course not. Oh, bullets. Ooh, a lot of bullets. Yeah, we gotta go all, that, all the way downstairs. Alright, well... Okay, so you can see what I'm doing right there. Uh, like I said, though, my scrap iron, like, my iron is just not enough. And right now it's a scrap iron that's a problem. I only have a stack. So I think in an upcoming video, possibly next video, I will go throughout the countryside um, in this area. And I'm basically just going to look for rocks and yellow flowers. I need yellow flowers anyway. And uh, I'll loot any garbage I found on the, on the side as well. Alright, so let's take that. And that. I need an elevator. Where's the elevators in this game? That's what I want. Everyone always asks me, Hey Cage, what do you think the fun pimp should add to 7 Days to Die? Elevators. There you go. Make it happen, Captain. Alright, so... Oh, this just... This is a long climb. Could you imagine trying to climb up this in real life, man? You'd be so tired. Forget it. If I collapse, fall down. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we will upgrade your sorry ass all the way. And I should be able to put a door down here. Okay, so you do have to upgrade the, uh, the walls. Okay. So I'll put a door there. A door... Okay, you can't put a door... Oh, wait, maybe you can. Yeah, let's upgrade this stuff. I guess I should put the doors right next to each other. There's no reason not to. The, I mean, I'm assuming the zombies are going to go for the doors. And with that being said, the doors have to be as strong as possible. As many as you can. And I'm hoping that's the way the zombies go. And if it is, it's going to be pretty sweet. And if it isn't, well, back to the drawing board. But that's what we're doing here. We're, uh, you know, our job as an lp -er is to figure out the game and, uh, you know, figure out how it's, what's going on in it and make it a better experience for you guys and hopefully give you guys some tips on how you can play your game. That's what I try and do. I try and be funny when I can, but, um, you know, I always find that with comedy, a little goes a long way. Anywho, let's uh, put this door down right here. And here. Alright, let's go ahead and make some more doors. Let's make eight. And here. You know what? It's not fancy, but eh. It'll get the job done. Let's go ahead and make a stair. Alright. 
I hear you. Wish I had my crossbow. He's he's walking towards. I'm gonna take this guy out. You done wandered by the wrong house. Oh, they're all starting to spawn. That's okay. Until they see me, I'm not gonna really worry about it. All right, so we'll put a little uh, stairway there. And uh, yeah, I mean that'll be good for now. Let's just go ahead and uh, build our roof over these. Huh. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna put the roof up first. The thing is, this part of the building is gonna be a little bit taller than the other parts, which, you know, is kind of annoying, but. Eh, I'll live with it. I'm trying to avoid knocking that one part out because it's gonna take forever to knock that out. Eh, let's just get it over with. These things take forever. This is the stuff that, like, if I was playing this and it wasn't in a let's play, this is the time I'd be watching, you know, someone else's video on, you know, on YouTube on my laptop. <laughs> All right, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. There, there. There, 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 there. And we are just going to... There. We should probably... We need to take out that window as well. Um, yeah, let's do it now. Okay, so boarded windows. Uh, I think that the idea is that... Zombies can still see the light through boarded windows. So until your place is really ready for... <sighs> I can't believe I did that again. Until your place is ready for a real zombie attack, you can't really have windows. Alright. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. It's from um, Left 4 Dead 2. Played a lot of Left 4 Dead 2 lately. I'm not going to upgrade the top to metal. Because I'm hoping that there won't be any zombies attacking up here. Alright. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, you know what? Let's do this while we're here. Alright, so... I'm not sure if I need an axe for this. I'm pretty sure it's... That's making a metal sound. Yeah, that... I'm not sure, but that's making a metal sound, so let's use a pickaxe. Now we should have to use the axe. And uh, look at all the metal I'm going through just repairing these tools. I mean... That's a problem. That is a problem, my friends. Although, you do get a lot. <laughs> from these uh, pipes. Yep, that's wood. Okay, we're gonna break this out. And we're just gonna put a piece of wood in here. And uh, I'm not gonna have any windows to speak of until uh, until this base is secure. Boy, once you break out that metal, it's pretty easy to break the rest of it out. I guess that makes sense. All right, let's uh, grab that. We should be able to grab the other piece. Nope, that's all we have left. All right, that's fine. It don't matter. Wood is easy. I'm not really concerned about wood. All right, let me go ahead and do some upgrading. Okay, I've had to come down here and get some more iron because, yeah, my iron supply is running low. Uh, I've got 23 iron ingots, and that's it. So... I really don't want to do more loot runs, but I think I see more loot runs in your guys' future, um, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, like I said, I know a lot of you guys like them, and I'll just name them loot runs so you can skip them. And it's not going to be next video, I'll tell you that right now. I refuse to do a loot run every other video. And, um, yeah, because that's just, it's too much. You know what I should do? I should go down south. Now, if we go down south, we can go in the industrial area and get the girders that are laying all over the ground. Each girder is good for one iron ingot. So, you know what? Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll take a trip down south 
it's still technically a loot run, though. But, uh, it, it's not gonna be next video, though. I can pretty much guarantee you that. So, we'll see. But, uh, the thing is, I don't know where I can stay down south that'll be safe. Uh, with, with the new mechanics, you know, I don't really feel safe with the, uh, stealth system. But, like I said, they, they have... It seems like they've made the stealth, stealth system better. So I'm pretty sure I could stay down south somewhere. Like, I'm thinking... I'll go down this industrial area and I'll just go around and loot. And then when it gets nighttime, maybe I'll come here. I think that's a nice big factory. I can go up on the roof or something and just hide in a corner somewhere. I think I should be okay. And if worse comes to worse, I'll just put everything in my eye. Uh, I'll take everything in my hop bar. So if the zombies start coming after me, and if the zombies see me and come after me at night, uh, they're always fast. And with the with their speed and the lag, um, I'm pretty much I'm SOL. I'm just going to die. You got a problem, woman? You got a problem? Hmm. Take that. Down you go. This thing needs a repair pretty soon. Alright, so let's go look at the back door, and I'm probably going to do the same thing with the front door. I'll probably just have to tear down that porch. I don't really have much of an option. So, this is the way this is going to work. Oops. Let's put these down. So I'm going to come around here. Come up here. And this is how I get in. And I'm hoping that the zombies will go for the doors. Uh, if they do find this place. Uh, we'll see. Okay. You know what we could do? We could put spikes inside, so if they do break in, then they get hurt. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, you know what? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because, you know, that way, uh, it doesn't... This is a weird looking thing right here. It's not a full block. Oh, well, give me a full block now. Yeah, because, like, that way, you know, if they're already, if they're inside, if they're breaking their way in, they're already hostile. So we could kill some once they get in. Maybe, maybe. I should be able to have torches up in here now because they, there's n there's no windows open. If they could see torch, if they could see light from here, it's now a bug, and they're seeing it through the walls when they shouldn't be. So, all right. Could probably go looting some. Uh, nah, I really don't have a lot of room. The thing with these spikes is I, I don't want to have to pick them up. <laughs> that's the reason I'm not going to put them down in here, because then I'd have to all pick them up and stuff, and that's just, that's just annoying. Yeah, forget that. What we're going to do is we are going to go drop off some stuff, and then we're going to come up, we're going to break some rocks and gather some yellow flowers. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just got done taking a screenshot, and we, uh, we have a couple of uh, airdrops here. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got one. Oh, my goodness. Let's go for the one over here. So that's southeast two clicks. Yeah, southeast two clicks. Okay. And I don't know if I paused my timer for that. I basically just paused the video to take some screenshots. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, um... So just so you know, I kind of messed up my timer. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Not that it matters to you guys. Cause I don't know why I picked that up. I don't have any room for anything. Southeast two clicks. Just like that. Okay, there it is. Alright, and this one is east north one click. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just the way I, I remember these things. I've barely got any room for any of this stuff anyway. I gotta come through and break these rocks. I gotta go down to the south and get girders. Uh, probably, it won't have to be next video though, that's for sure. So that's good. Alright. See? Look at this. This is this loot is useless. I mean, a bunch of cans of food, big deal. Six bullets and one pistol. 150% loot abundance, guys. I'm, I'm sorry I keep bringing this up, but I just want you guys to know that the loot abundance is not getting it done for me. 
Alright, so what did I say? North, east, north? Yeah, east, north, one click. I don't know if this is going to actually bring me to it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, these loot drops, I mean, the loot in general is just garbage. Between this video and next, I'm going to go into God Mode, and I'm going to check some of the other gun safes in the world, because I'm wondering what gun safes are like. If gun safes are still overpowered, then the loot abundance is fine. If gun safes have been nerfed as badly as the rest of the loot abundance, then we got a problem. And I don't, I'm not going to be able to find this one. Let's just go home. I got more important things to do. And these loot, there's nothing in these, these airdrops. There's, they're kind of garbage. Not even worth going out for. I do need to hit these rocks up though. Maybe I'll do that now. Oh, there it is. Yeah, might as well grab it. And I, and I see the other one too. Okay, now this is a loot drop. This is what I needed. But it's like, it's hit and miss. You either get a stack of rebar, or you get nothing worth getting. Uh, chicken ration. Yeah, that's... Now, I don't know if these land claim blocks work in... in, uh, single player, but I don't think they do. So, I really don't know, though. I saw the other one, didn't I? Thought I did. Hmm. I thought I saw the other one over here. Yeah, there it is. It's in a tree. Cobblestone rocks, I'll take that. Uh, what can I give up? Oh, nothing. Iron chest schematics. Leather training. There we go, we can now make iron chest. I don't even know what I'm wearing as far as armor goes. Now that I think about it. Uh, I got everything but the iron chest. Alright, cool. Um, I think all the rest of the stuff that I dropped is in the tree. Oh, there it goes. Let's pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. And those. What did I pick up? Mm, these stairs aren't that important. There we go. Yeah, let's head home. We got all three. Uh, but honestly, only one of them was any was worth it. So, kind of interesting. Let's look in this garbage. I'm not going to loot it. I just want to look. See? Two iron pipes. So they just... I, I don't even know what it could be on 100% loot abundance. I mean, there's barely anything on 150%. Okay, now that's, that's... That's decent. I can live with that. That's not overpowered. I mean, what, some lead? Who cares about lead? Okay, a little bit of brass. You know, a little bit of iron. That's that's not overpowered for a car. So, that's that's a decent loot abundance right there. That's what I would expect at, you know, honestly, 100%. Okay, well, let's head home, shall we? Okay, so my timer's just about done. We've got the back of this building taken care of. The spikes are all up. Um, I'm really curious if the roaming hordes are going to be an issue here, but uh, and I'm also curious if they are an issue, if they're going to go for the doors or not. So let's just get downstairs. And we're going to call this one here. I am going to have to do some kind of loot runs, you know, within the next few videos. Not next video, but po not, not episode 16, but possibly episode 17 might be a loot run. I just have to do it. But, uh, eh, I'll try it. I'll make it fun, guys. Don't you worry about it. So that's going to be it for episode 15, and we'll see you next time for episode 16. Till then, take it easy.